Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product. This is the CheckMe BP2 Connect wireless blood pressure monitor with ECG function. It's made by a company called Viatom, and this is a great solution if you're looking for a rechargeable uh, blood pressure monitor with ECG function that'll keep track of both and has an integrated app for iOS or Android. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. Obviously, you're going to get the main unit here. Uh, and again, this is a, a very uh, nice, uh, easily rollable, uh, very portable device that you can just throw in a backpack or a book bag or uh, wherever, whatever you're going to be using to carry or storage this uh, will be very easy to do. Uh, now they do give you a little card here uh, so you can register with them for one year warranty. You also get a uh, quick guide for the BP2 Connect for your Wi-Fi connection. Now that is something that is interesting with this particular model. It not only has a Bluetooth 4.0 uh, or Bluetooth low energy. It also has a Wi-Fi as well, so you don't have to be near your phone for it to be uploaded. Uh, it will upload via Wi-Fi. Uh, you do have a nice clear user manual here that shows you everything that you need to know. Uh, so uh, refer to this if you need it. Uh, I will put the specifications of this device on the screen so that you guys can see everything uh, about it. And if you need to come back and I may have missed something, you can come back to this point in the video and you can check it out. Okay, so let's take a look at the charge cable that you get. This is a standard USB to USB type C charge cable. You can use any one you want. So if you do have one of your own that's longer, you can use that. And you can hook this into any USB port on your laptop or your PC to charge this, or you can use an AC to USB adapter, which you probably have from one of your phones or tablets. Now you'll plug into the side here, there'll be an LED which turns blue when you are charging and then when it is fully charged, it will be out. So once you charge this, uh, you'll get a little symbol here on your screen and that screen is a 1.4 inch uh, digital OLED screen uh, that will allow you to see uh, your uh, information and we'll get into that in just a moment as well. Okay, so this is the main screen. When you turn things on, you can either hit the start stop button to go to your blood pressure, uh, or you can hit the secondary button. There's only two buttons that you have to worry about. If you hold it down for two seconds, you're going to get your history, and if you uh, just press it one time, it'll go to the ECG function. So if I hold this down, I'll be able to cycle through uh, some of the readings that I've taken already. And as you can see here, uh, one of my latest blood pressures was 113 over 73 with a heart rate of 73. And I can use the left button to go to the next, or I can go back home with the start stop button. There's an ECG there as well, and it will play the waveform back for you as well. It is capable of a 30 second ECG, which we'll do a test on as well here, uh, and you can check that out in just a moment. But overall, this is great. It gives you the time, the date that everything was taken here, all right from the device. And this device will hold several sets of information in storage. It'll hold up to the last 10 sets of ECG readings and the last 50 sets of blood pressure readings. Okay, so the app that you're going to use is called vHealth, and you can get it for iOS and for Android. Uh, so connecting this device is super simple and easy. You're going to have to agree to the privacy policy, as you can see there. Uh, and it's going to ask you for photos, multimedia, file storage uh, for the CSV and PDF files and pictures and things that it will add of your reports. You're going to want to allow all of these. Now it's going to ask you to add your device. So you're just going to want to power it on uh, by hitting the start and stop button. It'll bring up that first menu and you can see that it automatically uh, came up in my device list here as the BB2 Connect. So we're going to connect on that. It's going to ask me to sign into vHealth with your vHealth account. So I am going to sign in and do that. I already have an account set up here. So let's sign on in. 
and then it's going to say press both buttons uh, at the same time to connect. So we're going to press the start and stop button and the secondary button. And you're going to see that in just a second here, it's going to give us our Wi-Fi status. Uh, and this is where you can go and connect to your Wi-Fi network. This is so not only are you connected via Bluetooth, but you can also be connected to your Wi-Fi network. So if you're not within range of your phone, it still will use Wi-Fi uh, to upload uh, any information uh, or uh, readings that you get with the BB2 Connect. So now it's going to find my Wi-Fi network and I'm going to select mine. You can see here it does only support 2.4 gigahertz networks. It does not support 5 gigahertz networks just as a note. And I'm going to add my information here. And once I do and hit OK, it's going to send that uh, Wi-Fi password and information to the BP2 Connect and we shall be connected. So my device is now connected via Bluetooth to my phone and to my Wi-Fi network and so we're good to go. Now on the dashboard here, it gives you your battery indicator. It also gives you uh, how to measure your blood pressure, where you want to be, how you want to uh, be set up here to get a correct uh, measurement and also has for ECG as well. You can do a chest lead here uh, you can also do a hand and abdomen lead, hand to leg, or hand to hand. So you've got four different ways here to do the ECG. And we'll do a quick ECG measurement here in just a moment so that you can see how it works. So we're going to press the ECG button one time here, or the left hand button, and that'll put us in ECG mode. And then I'll do one for you. So there you go, I had a regular ECG here with a heart rate of 73 and you can see in real time on the dashboard uh, that it came up uh, so I could see it on the phone screen as well as the device itself. Uh, so now you'll just want to pull down to make sure that it comes up and you can use AI analysis which is an interesting thing. This is uses AI to try and detect uh, a wide variety of arrhythmias. And I'll have those up on the screen here for you to see what the AI analysis looks for. This is obviously a good thing to, for people who already have heart issues or if you just generally want to keep an eye on your heart health. You can also hit the share button in the top right corner to share this with your doctor or healthcare professional. Do a quick blood pressure test as well so you can see how that works. So there you go. My final reading there was 122 over 81 with a pulse of 71. I will take that and you can see you have your mean arterial pressure and your pulse pressure listed as well uh, and also some other relevant data such as zones uh, that you should or shouldn't be in. The machine itself is uh, pretty quiet for what it is. Again, I can get up to uh, 50 stored readings in the machine for blood pressure and 10 for ECG. And I will get up to 500 readings between charges. Well, there you go. That's my review of the BP2 Connect. 
this is a great two-in-one uh, solution here for being able to keep track of your blood pressure and your ECG and being able to share those results uh, in a, a bunch of different ways. Uh, if you're someone who just is health conscious and wants to keep track of your blood pressure, this unit matched up with a few other units that I have, including an Omron unit that I've been using for the last year or two. Uh, and it's very accurate as far as I can tell with other units. Uh, being able to track your ECG is great, especially if you already have a heart issue or you just want to keep an eye on it. It has that AI analysis to kind of give you a, an idea uh, of anything that might be coming up. Overall, this is a great lightweight portable unit that is rechargeable so I don't have to change any batteries out uh, and I can get a long time between charges. It uses the latest technology such as USB Type-C to do so. Overall, the BP2 Connect is great. With the addition of Wi-Fi and not just Bluetooth, you don't have to be next to your phone to record all of those results. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.